I'm joined by a winner of Business Today Most Powerful Women Award, and that's Mr. Arun, Ms. Arundhati Bhattacharya. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm really excited to have this conversation with you. Um, first of all, what are your thoughts on women empowerment and this event today? So I always thought it's important to have these events because uh, it actually provides a voice to women. And the people who come here, you know, the ones that you award, they actually are providing the voice for many thousands of others who don't have it. Uh, so it's important, you know, for this celebration to happen. Uh, I think I was told that from 30 it's gone to 55 now, uh, which is great. Uh, but we would like to see many, many more. You know, with uh, the number of women in this country and the place where we have got to, while we have been doing tolerably well, but I think there's still a long distance to cover. Um, as it was discussed in the sessions as well, it is really ironic that the participation of women is going down in workforce. What do you think should be done to encourage more and more women to take up work and come out of their houses and be a part of boardrooms? So the thing is, you know, the journey is not simple. Uh, the boardroom is a long way away. The first and foremost thing is you've got to get women who are entering the workforce, got to get them to stay. And I think that's the bigger problem. Because uh, if I remember my earlier institution, we used to have about 33% women when at the lower, uh, you know, at the beginning stage and initial stage. But by the time you went, went into senior management, it would come down to about 4%. So there's a huge leaky pipeline. And we need to do a number of things in order to stop that leakage. So whether it be creating the infrastructure to support women through the most difficult periods of their lives, whether it is to show greater empathy, whether it is creating a board agenda to ensure that women are treated not only with equality but with equity, whether it be creating understanding and empathy for the situations that they are in, there are many things that need to be done. It's not one or the other. It's a big, long agenda, actually. Sure. Um, it is usually seen that for one person to make a career in one industry, it takes a whole lifetime, and you have a second innings. Clearly, uh, you are a hustler, as we call it in our Gen Z lingo. How would you describe your journey from SBI to Salesforce? Uh, I would describe it as very interesting. And uh, frankly, to tell you the truth, it's uh, given me a lot of energy makes me feel alive every day. So I think it's something that all of us should try and do. And especially in your generation, I would say will have multiple careers because you will live longer on account of the advances in medical science. And if you live longer, healthier lives, can you imagine retiring at 60 and not doing anything for the next 30 years? How can that even happen? So to that extent, I think many of us going forward will have multiple careers. I'm only one of those who has them, uh, but this will become more and more common, let me tell you. Um, there's a very popular saying, when you see it, you be it, and you've shown, and you, we've seen you, how a woman in a sari can be at the top, topmost leadership and be a part of it and rock, and have a second innings after that. Uh, when you look back at your journey, do you see anybody who is trying to pull you down, and what, what is it that you'd want to tell those people? Well, you know, there will always be detractors in any kind of a situation. The main thing is you should not allow yourself to be defined by anybody else. I think uh, the minister, um, Mrs. Zirani, said it today that I define myself. So the main thing is you have to have that self-confidence and that self-assurance to believe that you know you alone will define yourself. You won't allow somebody else to do it for you. People will keep talking about things. You know, It's how you react to it that matters not what they say. Awesome. Is there any life lesson you'd like to share with young women, the women of Gen Z in my generation, who have their careers ahead of them? So the one life lesson is that, you know, there will be tough times and there'll be good times. Uh, don't allow either of them to impact you too much. And the second thing that I keep telling every single person is you must hang in there because there will be some times when you will just feel like giving up, you know, feel that it's just not worth it. But that's never the case. You know, you should allow that moment to pass and you will find that it is worth it. So just hang in there.